today we will see about single speed sleep speed sleep and rotor speed so first we will see about synchronous speed so what is the synchronous speed so speed of a stator magnetic field speed of stator magnetic field in three phase induction motor is known as a synchronous speed and it is given as n is equal to 120 f by p f is frequency p is pole okay number of poles now what is slip the difference between synchronous speed and actual speed is known as a slip so what is slip difference between the synchronous speed and actual speed is known as a slip and it is given as s equal to ns minus n divided by ns okay now what is the slip at starting so what is meant by slip at starting the slip at starting means s equal to 1 it means that the slip at standstill condi stand condition is unity because the rotor speed at the starting is 0 slip at standstill is unity means 1 because rotor speed is 0 means here we can define as ns minus 0 divided by ns which is equal to 1 okay now what will be the slip at the running condition slip at running condition so at the running condition slip will be always less than unity because in induction motor speed increases slip decreases so value of the slip will be always less than 1 now what is slip speed So slip speed means difference between stator magnetic field and actual speed of the motor. Slip speed is difference between the stator magnetic field and actual speed of motor is known as a slip speed and it is given as slip speed is equal to s into ns okay which you can we also write as ns minus n okay now what is rotor speed rotor speed So rotor speed is given as n equal to 1 minus s into ns. So how we can find this? We know that a slip is equal to ns minus n divided by ns. So n will be n 
n will be ns minus s into ns okay so this will equal to 1 minus s into ns so sleep at starting is sleep at starting is unity means s equal to 1 therefore rotor speed total speed at starting is 0 how if we put the value of s here 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so n equal to 0 so rotor speed at starting is 0